hi hello everyone welcome welcome to the new tutorial of etabs 2015 and uh, greetings to every learner of new generation softwares this is gonna be uh, the next uh, uh, tutorial of the design part of rcc building using is 456 indian code 2000 so continuing from the design we have already did the analysis in the previous episode and uh, uh, after analyze analyzing the um, building we are now going to design so before designing just uh, i want to show you the stress diagrams uh, which i have not uh, shown um, fully to you uh, previously so you can see the combinations here after clicking this this icon here now you can see the movement diagrams and the shear force diagram that is shear 2 2 and movement 3 3 here so after clicking this press apply and then ok so it is appearing in this box so to see this box in 3d just go to the 3d plan and you can see this um, bending moment diagrams of the whole structure so by clicking on this beam any one of the beam you will uh, after right clicking this beam you will find the values at the end junctions so these are the maximum shear force value and the bending moment values here so uh, in the combination you can change the combination here and the values will change respectively so show the maximum or you can go to this different length or you can click on the different length to see the values where where the values are you want or you can give the distance here at 1.5 meters let us say so you can get the values at that distance so at 1.5 meters it is minus 40.169 that is shear force and 11 kilonewton meter is the bending moment like bending moment so like this you can see the values of these things and also if you want to see the slab shell stresses that is slab deformations then you can click on this button or you can go to display and sell, show the cell stresses button then you will get the stresses diagram of different you can see here due to the different uh, load components you can see so due to fmax you are saying and apply ok and you will find the diagram of the shell stresses so this is in the 0 to 0 0.15 region that is yellow color so there are not much of the stresses again if you change to shell stresses that is the re uh, re restoring forces we have seen resultant forces now the shell stresses you can see the maximum stress is at the center there is 1.61 MPA so for every shell you can see this by plan view you can go to any story and you can see the values of the shell stresses varying on that screen so these are the few steps you can view before doing the analysis uh, before doing the design after analysis so now you will go for design before designing go to the design concrete frame design then view revise preferences so we have to revise the preferences what we want to design what we don't want to design 
that we can select yes or no in this then we can run so the design code is IS456 all set number of inter uh, interaction curve 24 okay these are all okay p delta effects no so minimum eccentricity is not considered additional moment is considered you say it is not considered this time uh, then we will not consider the additional moments only we will take the actual moments so press ok then then go to design and start design and check then it will start designing actually it is designing you can see in this Creation the flashing beams are nothing but it is designing the flashing the beams which are flashing down now. Now the design is complete. After the design is complete, it will show the reinforcement bars of top and bottom bars. It will show. So in 3D you can see. So if the column becomes red or any beam becomes red that means that is not passing the design and uh, these are in the violet region then it has been passed now so our design is safe okay so for every uh, beam and column we will find the uh, given top and bottom bars uh, areas what are required you can also fix uh, the bar di diameters uh, of uh, the beam and the column uh, before a design so that it will select uh, that bars for the design and it will, it will show in the diagram final diagram so how to see the diagram uh, you can go to detailing and you can see the uh, diagrams there so first uh, we will check for the beam see these are the uh, top top is steel and bottom is steel for the combination of decon 1 decon 2 all these combinations and you can see that our beam is passed here so similarly you can see the summary here okay so it will show us the required required number of top axis bars and bottom axis okay all this it will show and finally the area required for the reinforcement that is shear reinforcement and the torsional reinforcement torsional reinforcement or this reinforcement areas it will show in this and flexural reinforcement are here that is 432 and design moment is 58 so required rear bar is for 432 and 121 in the bottom and for shear reinforcement you can look after this if it is passing the shear test then minimum shear reinforcement you can provide after looking at the required if it is greater than this it is already checked and our beam is passing uh, the test so click on ok then check for the column the bottom most column will be uh, good if you check uh, summary in this you can find what we have provided uh, during the design what we have given the dimensions that dimension it will show and what are the movements coming on it then the axial force and the biaxial uh, movements it will show after that what are the okay what are the reinforcements required It will be showing here. The axial force by axial movements is here. Okay, here the shear design is here. Then the shear reinforcement required is this much. Okay, then we have where is the reinforcement for beam column? column reinforcement I think so not uh, not applicable okay 
here the design moment is there here this is the reinforcement required for that percentage is point, point 0.8 so it's very very less actually you can take up to 1.6 uh, that is or 6% we can take up to for the design of column I think so uh, I have to check the IS456 this is designed as for IS456 column section and we can confirm with the columns uh, part of the IS456 and you can check the design and you can verify the results and finally we'll do the detailing part so I apologize if I do any mistake please comment below and uh, do correct me because I am also a learner like you so how much I have learned I am showing to you so let us uh, we can we have to uh, give the detailing preferences first uh, we have to check that and then after that uh, we can detail separately for slab beam column and wall whatever parts are there in this so we will do concrete design only because we have provided all the sections in concrete and the rebar selection rules we can uh, give the rebar selection rules here what are the rebars so we are using as per Indian code so you, we can give uh, 16 mm dia, 12 mm dia, 10 mm dia, 8 mm dia minimum and 32 mm dia maximum we have uh, available in the market so we can use those bars uh, whatever we required for this building design so let us go to detailing preferences and let us see what it contains we have given all these things and uh, these are all correct uh, millimeter millimeter okay okay it is in force in ton or clear newton force in clear newton I want uh, rebar weight in ton okay so this is okay now preferences is okay now and then go to the um, rebars rule selection for beams we will see the smallest bar size is not 14 mm 14 mm is not available on the market we have to give uh, 12 mm size for everything okay <coughs> So as per our Indian market we have okay zone A zone B zone C these are okay as preferred okay preferred bar size we have given as 20 mm we can change it and uh, so number of bars required minimum is 2 maximum whatever it is providing it okay then press uh, non seismic design we have designed already because we have not done the analysis for the seismic so I will be showing you in the next uh, part of this uh, that required the dynamic analysis of the building so I will showing in the next uh, coming tutorials so in this tutorial we are just doing the non seismic design part so we have did this building analysis already and we, we can provide here whatever the required things you can check one after the other for the transfer bar you can give 8 mm minimum here also so it's all done okay then you can check for the same similarly you can check for the uh, smallest bar size for the columns again 12 mm is the column okay uh, maximum is uh, 32 mm you can provide okay splices at what story you want to give splices you can give okay so all are set and then go to the concrete detailing of Okay, you can do for slab, for beam, for column. We don't have walls in this building. Uh, then let's do the beam design. Beams, autographs, similar beams. Okay, okay. 
so all are set already defaults so no need to change anything that is cb is the prefix so if you want to give your building name here you can give the prefix there is the uh, exterior beams or interior beams like that or the beams of the different uh, level will be shown differently if you want so then press ok there is the designing now then we have to start detailing after setting this all these things okay okay cc is the column now start detailing so after completion of this you can see uh, the from the top view this detailing of the beams are given here for different story and the sections are shown as a diagram so here in the detailing part you can see the diagram of the drawings so what are the details if we want concrete beams okay schedule tables here we have the rebar tables and the reinforcement cage views for the beams so all the beams comes under these five categories of our design so any one beam if you click then you can see the 3d view of the beam available on the whole structure so have many things to see here we have the drawing sheets here of 6th six, sixth floor CB1, 5th floor CB1, every floor okay uh, the beam numbers have been given and their span and their width and depth are given and we can also export this okay this sheet to the export drawing sheet we can do to the AutoCAD or DFX drawing okay like that we can save these layouts and also the uh, layout for the bottom okay base here you can see everything is there okay beam section diagram this is what we want actually but this is required for the, our uh, building working part okay at the practical side this is this is needed these are needed actually so all we are getting ready in etaps 2015 so no need to worry about and here is a column diagram beam diagram and every cross section is given here you can check so with this it is the end of this tutorial for more be sure to subscribe my channel and give a like so so that I can make more and more videos for you like this so thank you for watching and making to the end bye bye have a nice day